So anyone else out there like a good detent? There's probably some YouTube subculture scary dark web underground about this stuff that I don't even want to know. But come on. That's a good one. What up, Loic? What you think? What up, Amory? Hey. What's up? Shreddy. Shreddy. You like this shirt? You like that shirt? I'm wearing socks with flip-flops. I always do. Oh. Not an e-bike? Looks like a battery. Vital Gear Club exclusive. Gearclub.vitalmtb.com. If you get it anywhere else, it's a ripoff. It's probably made by e-bikers. Vital MT beers, non-vital MT beers. Gordo here. Take a few seconds. Watch this real quick. If you are not having a seizure yet, you should know that each one of these bling machines was a Vital MTB bike of the day in 2018. And it's no secret that Vital MT beers are borderline insane when it comes to showing off their precious custom and not so custom mountain bike builds. Vital's bike check section with almost 11,000 bikes in it is the place where these fanatics upload photos of their bike and spout out the intimate details of the build. If you're not doing this yet, get to work. Out of 337 Vital Bike of the Day selections, we picked seven as the cream of the 2018 crop. Despite how impossible, what about this bike? What about this bike? Or this bike? Ooh, that bike's sick. Or that bike? And hyper subjective. Yeah, but what about that? Or that? Or that? Or that? The task is, we've notified our shrinks as we prepare for hurt feelings, crushed confidence after we read the, you suck, where was this bike? Comments all over the place. We're ready, we've prepared. Are you ready? Here are Vital MTB's top member bike check builds for 2018. Honorable mention is Kim's bike, a Trek Slash 9.9 .9 Memorial build. A gorgeous machine with a heavy story. Vital member Pride D put together this eye-catching all pink Trek Slash 9.9 .9 as a memorial for his wife. She lost her battle with breast cancer back in 2016. The bike was hand painted by the talented artists over at Trek featuring Paisley and Sugar Skull along her name, sealed off with the name of Pride D's daughter on the seat stay. It's a touching memorial to say the least. Well done Pride D and Trek. Our next bike is another celebration of memories living on. Another honorable mention, Kelly McGarry's YT2 as tribute build. Vital member Shiny Side Up was the winner of the late Kelly McGarry's custom Rampage 2 as from YT Industries. YT raffled off all the Team Rider frames from Rampage with proceeds going to Paul Bass a few years ago. Shiny Side won the big man's bike and built it up beautifully in blue. There's a Manitou Dorado, plenty of race face goods, SRAM X01DH 7 speed setup, reverse wheel set, and Magura MT7 brakes. This is a one of a kind bike built with pride that keeps Kelly's memory living on. We miss you, big guy. Interestingly enough, we have another Dorado in the house, but this one is attached to a piece of custom painted eye candy. Fifth place, he goes by Phantom Man on Vital MTB and his liquid orange specialized demo is pure juice. Look at that thing, mm. Crystal effects laid down the paint and the polished accents make the bike pop. Now it's not just the looks, but this build is unique as well. There is titanium oozing all over this beast. The Dorado has tie hardware. The Olin's TTX22 has a tie spring, which Phantom Man says is no longer made. The stem is from Enemon out of Germany with tie hardware. The chain is YBN's 10 speed titanium offering and the bars are titanium Thompson's. Bling. You'd think this thing would be a feather with all that titanium. Claimed weight is 35 pounds, 10 ounces. It may not be the lightest, but this candy coated sweetness makes us tempted to get in the van with this stranger. Huh. Fourth place, no drivetrain, no problem. The pegged Comensol Supreme DH. Now, can it be a bike of the day or year or whenever that doesn't have pedals or cranks, a chain or gears? We don't really care because Gab's drivetrainless 
custom foot pegged Coleman saw. It's out of this world. If nothing else, it's outside of the box, that's for sure. Gabs designed and created all of these unique parts himself. He shreds this beast at Schladming, Austria, which is steep, rowdy, and has very few pedaling sections. What does he do if the train flattens out? He walks, he scoots, no biggie, right? Gabs has been very helpful in the comments of his bike check. He has his reasoning for going to pegs and notes that he originally tried pedals only in the bottom bracket area, but it didn't work that well. So he designed and built the parts necessary to make this pegged coaster a reality. He says the spacing is similar to that of pedals on cranks, and he wears motocross boots for safety versus 510s. Would we want to own it? Probably not. Would we want to ride it? Definitely. Gabs even posted some of his times against normal DH bikes, and he held his own. Sometimes daring to be different does pay off. All right, back to reality. Well, at least the reality of the rich and possibly famous. Third place, I love gold. The Ibis Ripmo for show. This Ibis Ripmo posted by Pro Bike Supply is dubbed I Love Gold. Lots of O's and L's and D's in there. Classy, not flashy, and full of the best bits in the game. If you had that poster of a black and gold Lamborghini Countach in your room as a kid in 1983, you're gonna feel right at home with this Ripmo. There's carbon everywhere, it's 27 pounds. SRAM Eagle XX1 Gold Accents and Envy Carbon Cockpit boost the bling factor. The custom gold decals by Sticker.com would have Robin Leach and Lonnie Anderson all up in this biz. Second place, Hawaiian Sunset, AKA Fez, the Kona Process. Talk about the ultimate bike of the day for Christmas. This custom painted Kona Process from Chainline Bikes is nothing short of perfection and it dropped on the site like Santa dropped the chimney on Christmas day. They call it Fez and match the custom paint with custom decals from Magic Graphics. A Marzocchi bomber handles the hits up front and the Envy Carbon wheels and Envy Carbon cockpit take the sting away like a Mai Tai after a hard day's work. SRAM XX1 gold drivetrain accents take the build to the face melting limit. This 31 pounds of pure bling, it's like a Hawaiian sunset on two wheels. It was this close to winning our bike build of the year, the last minute entry. Where are my shades at? First place, 2018 Vital MTB member bike check of the year? Pow Slayers transition scout named Pepper. Pepper, can you believe it? Vital didn't pick a 29er to win something. A few things come to mind with this winning build. One, the Scout is a rad bike that does anything, and it's aluminum. <gasps> the details, the color scheme, quite frankly, that polished fork crown with skin wall tires won our hearts over. The custom Sunset Fade graphics were handled by Cyclepath PDX in Portland, and Shaq over at Industry 9, he built up those custom wheels that each have eight silver spokes. That is some detail, getting OCD. The Sense's gum-colored grips really tie the room together with the Anza Gumwall Sidious 2.4 tires. The build features a personally picked drivetrain with E13 TRSR 9 to 46 tooth cassette and Shimano XT shifting. I'm out of breath, I'm so stoked. The absolute black oval chain ring, the Hope brakes, the Chromag cockpit, and a push ACS coil damper in the Fox 36. They mean Pepper is ready for some serious shrouping. Coil sun up front, uh. Incredibly, as of December 2nd, this bike was up for sale. We're not sure of the status, but if someone scooped it up, they're stoked. If it's still available, I think the price probably just tripled. Nice work, Pow Slayer. What a beaut. Leave your love, leave your hate in the comments. Hit up vitalmtb.com's bike check section to get lost in some lusty builds. And be sure to add your bike. It's not all just custom flossed out builds. We want to see what you're riding. Keep up the killer builds. Most importantly, put down your phone, shut off the computer, get off of YouTube, get off Vital, forget about other people's bikes, hop on yours, get out and ride in 2019. That's where I'm going. Peace.